my goal for this webinar, I, I'm a big goal guy, right? So I want to stress and always let, let people know what my goal, expectations, and really what's on my mind, okay? So my goal for this is to give you specific sales training content that you can use tonight, tomorrow, this weekend, on the 4th, right? Well, what, whatever, when you're trying to negotiate for fireworks this weekend, what I'm gonna teach you, you can use, okay? So I'm gonna go through a bunch of different sales training content, and my goal is for when you leave, I want you to say, holy freak, that was the best short, free sales training class I've ever been to, all right? So stay active, feel free. I'm, I'm gonna do something special for a few people that tag me on Instagram at Cody.Askins or on Facebook, either a picture, a video, you go live, whatever, you share it on your story, and then you tag me at Cody.Askins, whatever. Okay, so I'm gonna pick a couple people that do that today. I wanna mention that, and I'm gonna do something special for you, right? My goal is for this to be unbelievable for you, and I'm sold on, on how sales and your ability at sales can make everything better. If you wanna make more money, you want to help more people if you want to simply be better and happier right you need to be great at sales my story real quick for those that don't know i got started in the business about a decade ago i was 19 as an intern and I, while i was an intern i was making cold calls out of a phone book for a veteran agent okay cold calls and i decided to become a full-time agent full-time insurance agent okay at that point i'm 20 i'm in college i'm playing basketball I'm taking 21 credit hours a semester. I could have made a lot of excuses about why, why I do not deserve it and why I'm not great and why I'm not good and all these other things, right? Instead, I'm in a meeting where there's where, where, where a recruiter, sales manager, has 10 of us stand up. And he says, I'm sorry, yeah, he, he says, all right, 10 of you stand up. So we stand up, 10 of us stand up. He's like, look around, okay? So we're looking around, we're sizing each other up, okay? And he says, all right, nine of you sit down okay so nine of us sit down you know i'm like where's this dude going with this man right he says maybe one of you will make it and i'm like this dude does not know me very well if there's gonna be a one it's going to be me in that moment i took out a pad and a pen and i wrote it down i will and i challenge you to do this right now I will earn $100,000 my first year in the insurance business. I signed it, I dated it, and I hung it up in the wall in my cubicle. And every day, I went out to make that a reality. It sounds like a story that would be out of a, you know, in a movie, right? Or, 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 or that isn't real, right? 100% real, wish I'd have kept the paper, actually did that in the moment because I was committed to winning. For you to get great at sales, you got to commit to being one of the best. You got to commit to getting great at this thing. You're never gonna be great at something until you decide to be great at it. I made a decision in that moment to be great. So what did I do? I started reading books, audio books, paying for training, doing whatever I could. I would go to conference, and I, I, even back then I was going to events. Okay, I, I remember paying like a thousand bucks to go to like a two day seminar on sales. Okay, I've been through all the different sales training systems on the planet. Like I, I have absorbed as much sales training specific knowledge as I possibly can. And I remember in my car rolling around to appointments, okay, on a daily basis. And I would I would listen to The Art of Closing the Sale by Brian Tracy. If you haven't listened to the audio book, I challenge you to do it. It's The Art of Closing the Sale by Brian Tracy, okay? Unbelievable audio book, really, really good. And I learned a ton from that specific book. Okay, and then I, I made, I've, so I'm cold calling, cold door knocking. I made 117 grand my first eight months in the insurance business, and it always made six figures. I transitioned about four, about uh, five years ago into more than just selling and actually helping others make more money, whether through marketing or training for the insurance industry. Okay, we've got a conference, we've got several different brands and companies. We've got almost 20,000 agents that subscribe to our YouTube channel. Everything we're doing is, is growing and, and I'm, I'm very fortunate and blessed because I get to wake up and do what I wanna do every single day. You know what I wanna do? I wanna help people win. I wanna help people make more money. 92% of insurance agents fail, hence 8% nation. And it drives me flipping nuts that that statistic is so high. And when you get great at sales, 
I promise you, you won't just be a statistic. And if you are a statistic, you'll be on the right side of a stat, right? Because that, that, that's the stats we're going to talk about is actually being on the right side of the stat. Okay, so let me, hit, let me hit you with some numbers tonight. If you're taking some notes, you will definitely want to jot these down, okay? This is, this is uh, according to Harvard Business Review, by the way. 92% of customer interaction, like interaction, you got to know these stats. You got to understand this stuff. You got to understand the landscape in the world before you can start to speak it, right? Before you start to, start to do it. 92% happens over the phone. What does that tell me? That 9.2 out of every 10 encounters is over the phone. And, and, and what that means is I need to be really good at using this, okay? At this page where it's got over 400 modules of sales training uh, information and videos and quizzes and, and workbooks and everything else that saw has several several different modules and quizzes on being better on the phone because once you can master the phone you can master the customer interaction and when you master the customer interaction before you know it bam 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 you, you can absolutely kill it and sells okay now the second step the best hours the best hours to make calls is four to five o'clock. I would even say four to six, okay? Because they're more likely to answer their phone after work. This is real stats. This is good, man. This is really, really good. Thursdays is the best day to prospect with Wednesday following thereafter. If you don't know this stuff, how are you going to be great at doing this and really, really making some money at this thing, right? 79% uh, uh, of agents that use social media outsell their peers. I'm gonna see who uses social media because some of you are gonna tag me on some stuff, all right? Some of you are gonna tag me, right? Tony G already did that, appreciate it, bro, okay? Referral-based sellers earn four to five times more than those that don't. I've got an entire chapter in our new sell system that focuses on referrals and that teaches you how to ask for them, how to get them, how to obtain them, how to extract them, how to retain and, 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 and create customer retention so that referrals just keep coming and coming and coming and coming and coming, right? Day after day, okay? 91% of customers, listen to this, write this down. 91% of customers say they will give referrals. 91% say they'll give them, yet 11% actually ask for them. So nine out of 10 will give them, but one out of 10 actually ask, okay? Which side of the coin are you on? If you're on the 11% side, then you either, you're either, you're either not aware or you're lazy now you're aware okay so the only reason you wouldn't now ask for referrals is because you're lazy okay or, or maybe you just don't know how the cell system will teach you that okay 74 percent of customers don't leave i'm sorry sorry 70 74 percent of companies don't leave voicemails um i always talk about uh calling three times in the first per day for the first few days um 90 percent of people don't call back to the first voicemail right that's why i always try to leave three voicemails in the first 72 hours right it's just stats man it's it's pure data but for me to get great i gotta understand data i gotta understand the world i gotta understand the landscape right i gotta be committed to this whole sales thing and i gotta be serious about it we're about to go through the steps of the sale in just a second you do not want to miss that piece okay stay with me um 75 of surveyed executives are willing to make an appointment or attend an event based on a call or an email alone. That's surprising for all those B2B sellers out there, okay? Inside sales, if you call a lead in the first five minutes after they submitted a web form, in the first five minutes, by the way, okay? They're 100 times more likely to get on the phone with you. Unreal. 80% of prospects say no four times before they say yes. Let me say that again, that's sales, man. That's objections, that's sales 101. And, and, and again, that web, web address is in chat. It's CodyAskins.com forward slash sales system. Okay, it's two S's in there, four S's, uh, three S's total at the end. Sales system, okay? Use the we instead of I. And that can increase closing rates by 35%. What, what does that do? That creates inclusiveness, right? That makes it feel like we're on the same page. That makes it feel like we're serious about doing this thing together. And it's not about you. It's not about you, okay? It's not about you, it's about doing things with them, by the way, that's what it's about. It's not about you, it's about doing things with them, okay? You're helping them do something, right? I learned a long time ago in sales that I'm, I'm a extremely well-paid problem solver, 
problem comes up, my job to solve it. What that, that's the fact finding piece, right? What problems are you solving? And how do you solve? Zendesk and, 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 and Dimensional Resource state that 82% of buyers look up providers on LinkedIn before responding. That's interesting. Okay. Are you even are you even on social media for crying out loud? You know, well, your, 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 your clients are not eight, they're not always 80 years old, you know, 64 years old. Uh, they, like they have social media now. You know, they do. Your, your, your grandparents, your parents and grandparents have social media nowadays, you know. And a lot of people don't realize that, that there, there's some there's some low hanging fruit there, if you want to call it that. 50% of salespeople don't follow up on 50% of marketing leads. Jeez. That's crazy, man. That's nuts to think that, that, that you've got that you've got money just sitting there and you follow up. The stats tell us that 80% of sales, okay, I may need another. 80% of sales are made between the fifth and the twelfth contact. Okay, 80% are made between the fifth and the twelfth contact. And most salespeople in the insurance industry, and I want you to I want you to think about yourself right now, go either zero, one, or two times. Okay, also if you're watching right now and you have a team, a sales team, okay, you need to go to this page and check this thing out. All right, thank you for putting something. Okay, 80% of sales are made between the fifth and the twelfth contact. Most salespeople in the insurance industry sometimes don't even make a call, or they go once or twice. Okay, or they go once or twice. You have to be good at this whole follow-up game, right? So let's walk through what are the steps to the sell. Okay, what are the steps to the sell? Okay, what are the steps to the sell? Right. So. The way this works, right, is you have a lead, right? You make a call, right? Then, 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 you, then you do the sales process, which includes the warm up, the fact find, it includes um building value it includes it includes presenting it includes trial closes it includes the pre-close it includes the close right it includes all that right and, and if you're not like if you're not extremely good at each piece of this every single piece of this right that's the process of a sale and, and, and you need to get really good at these specific things okay and if you're not what do you do? Well, you get good at them, okay? By utilizing a cell system that can teach you everything you need to know. I'm telling you, if I had just invested and committed even sooner than I, then I would be even farther along, okay? You have the process where you actually, right? You have the cell, okay? After, right? You need to be really good at, at actually getting a referral, okay? And then after referrals, it ain't over right because then there's the retention okay and even after the close you've got the actual cool down process as well that most people never talk about right there's a lot of pieces to this okay the cell system the cell system by the way teaches you this 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 and this now how, how do you solve this problem well that's what secure agent marketing does Okay, so if you're like, okay, Cody, I want to get, I want to buy leads at cost. I don't even want to buy them. I just want someone to give them to me in my own ad account at cost. Okay, then you'll go to secureagentmarketing.com to solve this specific problem. And then once you have leads, okay, then you follow the funnel down because when you make the call, right, when you make the call, when you make the call, what do you say? What do you say? What does your script look like? How, how do you how do you get control immediately? Okay, because when we're talking about the actual phone and phone calls, we're talking about okay. We're talking about okay. When I'm calling someone, 
I immediately have to show enthusiasm. I have to immediately get control. I have to immediately ignore their objections. And then I have to steer them down the path to end up in the sales process, right? But most of us, either our energy sucks and is low. Well, I, I, I don't know why, but if that's true, is it is it that you are lacking confidence? And when you lack confidence, you lack energy, right? Maybe that's true for some of us, okay? Maybe your enthusiasm, I'm telling you, I mean, because the three, the, the three E's that you got to have when you want to get great at sales, okay? It's enthusiasm, it's energy, and it's empathy. You master those three E's and you will be great at personality, having uh, people that do great at sales, by the way, is a good personality, okay? Because if you're hiring, here's what you want to know, okay? They have a good personality. By the way, this is what we look for in our office. They have a great attitude. Right, they're coachable. Personality, attitude, they're coachable, right? And they're reliable. And they'll do what the freak I say. I tell them, hey, you suck today, go run a mile and come back and let's do better this afternoon. Dude, will they do it? You know, I don't know. But I don't people on my team that won't. I can tell you that. Okay. Personality. Why personality? Because personality is contagious, right? People feel personality. How good are they with people? That'll tell you a lot. I don't want to sell people without a person. Okay, if they're if they're if they're a freaking doornail, don't hire them, right? Attitude. Attitude is when they have a bad day and negative things are happening that could bring down their cells. What are they gonna do or say to keep their cells game up? To keep this thing up to where they're like, okay, dude, I'm operating at a high frequency, at a high level, I'm ready, and no matter what throws at me, I will show up every single day, no matter what, and have a good attitude. Because I just fired someone the other day to where they were they had some drama. They brought their drama into the office, and we don't put up with that. We have a no negativity allowed. That's an Indian A policy, if you want to say, okay? No negativity allowed, okay? Positive, not negative, drama-free, and an environment where, because what does that do? That creates good culture, by the way. And, and, and otherwise, one person on your sales team with a bad attitude can bring the whole thing down. The whole thing will fall apart if you hire one bad apple and their attitude sucks, okay? And their attitude sucks. Just one person, right? Just one person, okay? After attitude, why coachable? Because if I say, pick up the phone and say, hey, Betty, then I want you to say, hey, Betty. I don't want you to say, hello, I'm looking for Betty, or is this Betty, or are you Betty? I'm looking for Betty. I'm thinking about calling Betty. I, 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 is this a Betty residence, right? None of that stuff. Coachable is, I used to do stuff this way. I recommend you do it this way. Are you going to do it your old stupid way or are you going to do it my way? And, and, and if they'll do it my way, they'll make more money, right? And so will they listen? That's really what coachable means is, okay, I am committing that I don't know everything and that I can know more. And that maybe Cody can help me, right? And in our office, coachable is big. Coachable is huge. Like that's... You you will find that out in the first couple of days because I force them to do stuff that that shows me if they're uncoachable. It absolutely does. Okay, absolutely does. All right. Also, don't forget about this web page. Go check this thing out while you're on here. Okay. Reliable. Reliable. Why reliable? Because I need you to show up every single day, whether you feel like it or not. Daily, I need you to show up no matter what. I don't want people that are, are unreliable. If you're sick all the time, if you don't show up, if you're late. Right. If you call in, I, I don't want you anymore. Right. The first two, three, four weeks tell me a lot about somebody. OK, they tell me a lot about somebody. And 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 it, because of that, because of that, I'm done. You know, Un, if they're unreliable, they're dead to me. Right. It, it, it's over. Right. Okay, reliable, reliable. This is what we look for in a salesperson, by the way, okay? Now, when we talk about the call, all this is before they even get on the phone, by the way. Once they get on the phone, do they have enthusiasm? Can we get them trained to get in control of calls, okay? 
Do they ignore the stupid things people say early in a call? Are you ignoring the stupid things people are saying early in a call? And can, can, can they steer the prospect down the path? Or can you steer the prospect down the path from I don't know who you are to thank you for your business, welcome to the family? Can you do that? Because that will determine how good of a salesperson you are when you are able to do that. Okay, I used to, I used to love cold door knocking, like freaking apartment buildings, neighborhoods, a house in the middle of nowhere. I used, it was addicting. I was obsessed with you don't know me, you know nothing about me, and you are giving me money in about an hour and a half. I used to like thrive off of that, man. I used to thrive off of that to where you have no clue who I am. And before you know it, I'm committed to, hey, 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 we're building value, right? You know, like, and trust me at that point, we're getting along, we're building a relationship, right, et, 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 et cetera. And by the end of it, I thrived off of them trusting me and doing business with me, even though they did not know who I was and that they had never met me before, okay? Now, the call is this okay how good are you and I'll, I'll, i want you guys to be honest throw it in chat okay i'm gonna ask you some questions along the way i want you to share and be honest okay can't be honest with yourself you won't be honest with anybody okay i want you to rate yourself from a one to ten on your ability to use the phone by the way because this new ca cell system is what we call it is extremely robust it's got crazy amounts of information and data to make you and your sales team absolutely phenomenally great on the phone, okay? On a scale of one to 10, on the phone, the phone is life, I crush the phone, Clint, I love that, Melissa, a three, you know what? Well, that's why you're on here because you're committed to improving and getting better, you know? And I love that you're willing to admit that, dude, I, I, I suck, you know? And even me, I'm darn good on a freaking phone. I used to do a show called Phone Phenom for a couple of years. I, I did live cold calls in front of, you know, 20,000 agents, right? Or maybe 100,000 by the time more people watch it, right? Live cold calling. I used to do it all the time. But does that mean I'm a 10 out of 10? No. No, because great salespeople always think they have improvement. Great salespeople always know that they can get better. Great salespeople are committed to being the best that they can be, right? That, that's that's why Tim Grover talks about... Um, the difference between a closer and a cleaner, cleaners don't say they're cleaners, man. You know, like well, I was at 10X, I was at 10X2 with 10,000 people. And he asked the audience, who in here is a cleaner? Like you'll do whatever it takes to win, man. And you show up in, in, in the moments and you're freaking relentless. And people were raising their hand. And he's like, you know what tells me that none of you are what why none of you are cleaners? I didn't raise my hand, by the way. I didn't know I didn't know what was going on, but I just didn't feel Feel odd raising raising my hand, and he said, "Cleaners didn't raise their hand. Real cleaners didn't raise their hand." And I thought, "Man, dude, that's good." Like he he, he trained Tim, Tim Grover, trained you know uh, Kobe, Dwayne Wade, Michael Jordan. Like he was on the Last Dance a bunch. Like he's legit. Uh, Jennifer three, Justin four, Zach six. Good. Most likely a three. Chris negative five. Raul, dude, we gotta fix that. Um, from Jamaica. That's right, dude. I used to do it from Jamaica. Um, that's how you get great. Hang up and rehash the entire call. Yeah, yeah, there's no doubt. Veronica, a one. Well, the only place you can go is up, right? Okay, that's good. Okay, so sales process. Once you get through the phone, then you move to the sales process. And when you're in the sales process, how do you get them from they don't know you to they're doing business with you and you're keeping their attention and you're keeping engagement, right? When I'm on video, I got to do my job to, to, to provide value, to keep you engaged, and to share as much as I can with you in a short amount of time, right? Because you're not in the room with me. I spoke to about 100 insurance agents in Florida the other day when I traveled and went and spoke to them. And I freaking love being in the room and I wish I could be in the room with all of you right now. Okay, that'd be one big room, but that'd be awesome. Okay, now with the sales process, okay? You gotta warm up. How good are you at warming people up? Okay, how good are you at warming people up? Just overall, what's your like some people are not very good at warming people up. What does that go back to? Personality. But it's a little bit more than personality because with personality, 
some people have great personalities, but they're kind of awkward when they warm people up or it's scripted or it feels weird or it feels like you have to do it because it's part of the sales process, right? And you just end up doing it because of that, okay? Now, fact finding. Fact finding is where you're asking the right questions. I was in the middle of a sale. I was I was in the middle of a, um, I was, I was, I was, I was, I was in the middle of a sale earlier today and I asked the person, I said, he's like, well, you know, he asked me a question and I said, hey, when's the last time you spent, just because someone asked you a question don't mean you got to answer it, by the way. I said, when's the last time you spent, when's the last time you invested in yourself? I'm talking invested in, in, in your sales ability, okay? Because I've, I've invested more than six figures in just me being better at sales training, by the way. Probably quite a bit more than that, but at least six figures. And he's like, well, I bought a house. You know, I'm like, I'm not talking about that type of investment. I'm talking about investment in you, investment in your sales ability, investment in your personal development, your self improvement. Like, well, most people never spend money on themselves, man. They show up to all the free stuff, but they never spend any dough. And he's like, I haven't. You know, I haven't. I'm like, well, there's 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 your problem. And if spending five grand is gonna get in the way of you making seven figures, right? Then you should have spent it yesterday. Okay. And that's what most people struggle with. But 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 you gotta but ask those tough questions. And when you're fact finding, you can't be afraid to lose a sale. Here's a tip. Here's a big sales tip. Lose the sale on your own terms. No matter what, no matter what, lose the sale on your own terms. Stay in control, say whatever you want, ask whatever you want, do whatever you want, keep your energy up, keep fighting for the business, and say whatever you want. Okay, ask whatever you want, do whatever you want. If you want to ask something that you think is off the wall, just freaking ask it, right? Don't don't overthink this thing. Most people, when we're talking about sales and the sales system that we've created here to help agents and teams, most people overthink this thing. You know, most people overthink the product knowledge and the presentation and what to what to give them and everything else. Just do it anyway. It doesn't matter. Right, the number one number one misconception in the insurance industry is I, need, I think I need to know everything before I do anything. A lot of agents think that they need to be product knowledge experts before they can get great at sales and 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 selling. That ain't true. Product knowledge is probably the least of your worries and the least important piece of all of this. Okay, but if you're not great at sales, nothing else matters. Okay, fact finding now building value. How good are you at engagement, building value, value, asking the right questions, keeping them a part of the process? And then just stacking the value, bam, 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 bam. How good are you at doing that? If you're not good at doing that, you will struggle to close deals, and you will get a lot of people at the end of the call tell you, "I want to think about it. I want to think about it." You know, call me back. I don't want to make a decision today. You should force people to make decisions today. By the way, quit letting people think about it. It's stupid. Right, it is. I teach that in the sales system, by the way. Again, CodyAskins.com forward slash sales system. I teach that in the sales system where I'm committed, I'm committed to making this thing happen, to making it rain, you know, and 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 to doing whatever it takes. Most people don't. Most people don't. Okay, most people don't. Okay. But but how much are how how good are you at building value? How good are you at building value? Like, is that a struggle for you? Because that's a important freaking piece. Building value and trial closes are crazy valuable and important, okay? Crazy valuable and important while you're assumptive every step of the way. Most people struggle with that, man, and it's, it's a confidence. It's a, it's a confidence thing, and it's, and it's a lack of sales training. Like, you haven't been properly trained, and a lot of that's not any of your fault, you know? It's just that I, you haven't been properly trained. Okay. Now, when you're building, after building value and asking these trial closes and keeping them engaged, right? Are you with me? Okay. Are you following me? Does that make sense? Is that important to you? Do you like that? Is that good or is that good? Is that good or is that great? Right. You, 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 which, 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 which option do you actually, uh, which of these benefits do, do you like the most? One, two, three, four, five. Well, I don't know. Well, if you had to pick, right, that, use that hypothetical. If you had to pick, which one would you say? Uh, probably number five. Okay, good. Excellent. I'm going to try to make sure you get, get, I include that today. Okay, I'll do my best, right? That's trial closing. It's engagement. It's keeping a part of it. A lot of people, a lot of people forget to ask the follow-up question. Okay, L later on in the process, we forget to ask the follow-up question. Okay, now, presenting. That's where you're presenting specific options 
to them based on what they want to do. Based on what they want to do. Okay, based on what they want to accomplish, by the way. Well, how good are you at presenting the options in a systematic approach that gets you a yes when you give the options? Okay, a lot of people struggle with, with the presenting option and, and they become, they like, they like become um, scared at the end to like actually aggressively give the options in a confident fashion and people feel that. If that's you, people are feeling your lack of certainty, by the way. People are, people are feeling your lack of certainty. Okay, we're talking about trial closing. The pre-close, okay, if you're not pre-closing, okay, here, here's the pre-close, by the way, okay, this is gold, record this, write it down, take notes, do up and down, whatever, okay, here, 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 here's, here's the pre-close, all right, Miss Betty, I'm about to show you three options, I'm about to get, I'm giving it away here, Derek, Miss Betty, I'm about to give, show you three options, and it comes with all five of those benefits, especially the price lock, which I know you love, okay, and Miss Betty, I actually think I know which one you're going to pick. All right, but, but before I do, I need you to do me a favor. Can you do me a favor? Yeah. When I show you these three, I just need you to let me know which one you're most comfortable with. Can you do that for me? Uh, yes. What did they do? They just committed to making a decision. They just told me that they will be making a decision. They just told me they will be making a decision, right? And then I go in, I do the same thing again, but I show three options and ask one which, which one which is best for them, right? That, that's the actual close at that point. But if you're not pre-closing, there's no point in closing and asking for the business if you haven't gauged their temperature level and if they're not going to say yes, okay? Major bomb just dropped. There's no reason in asking for the business if they're not going to say yes or if they're going to give you an objection or if they're going to think about it or call you back or whatever. There's no reason in even giving it to them. Okay, it doesn't make any sense at that point. Okay, but are you closing? What's your what, what, what's what, what's how do you say it? How do you frame it? How do you ask it? How do you do it? And and what do you do? Okay, the cool down. Most people forget about the cool down. The cool down is there that you 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 warmed up at the beginning. Now you need to warm up at the end. The psychology is that when you leave, you're off of business. So they're actually not going to talk about business anymore because you cooled them down and took them off of business, right? You know, hey, great decision. Right. This is where I would simply go into referrals and some other stuff, too. Do you have any questions? Here's the next steps. Right. Here's a business card magnet, all that kind of stuff. Right. But then I'm cooling down. You know, I'm cooling down. What are you doing the rest of the week? What do you do for the fourth? Right. How's the weather going to be this weekend? What do you like to do for fun? Do you ever get to hang out with your grandkids? Right. Just just down to earth, simple questions to where you can start to warm up in reverse. Okay, warm up in reverse. All right, good, 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 good. Okay, good. All this that I'm talking about is going to be at this at, at this page, by the way. It's all in a system. CodyAskins.com forward slash sales system. Everything I'm talking about, plus about 8,000 other things. Okay, because before you can get great, before you can get great, you have to be frequent and you got to train. Right, that's the traits of people that actually end up getting great. Right, so you get the cool down. Okay, so that's the process. You got the call, you got the process, you got about ask for referrals so that you start to get referrals all the time. Okay, and then how do you retain the client? What should you send? What should you say? Should you do anything for their birthday? Should you send a newsletter? Should you do anything for Christmas? You know, should you call them once a year? Like, how do you engage in that? We have all of those details in the system, right? This is for individuals or teams, by the way. This new CA cell system is for individuals or teams either way. Okay, now. And again, for the lead piece, you got to get that from securagemarketing.com. Okay, you got to go to securagemarketing.com. Okay, so you can go there now. Okay, now, before, I got a couple more pieces before this is over. Okay, a couple more pieces. What are some of the top people in our industry doing? What are some of the top people in our industry doing, right? Okay, here, here's what they're doing. Okay. Because here, here's the top traits of the most successful people. T think about the traits of successful people right now with me. Okay. The traits of the most successful people, by the way. I go through markers like like McDonald's goes through Big Macs. Okay. The traits. What are the traits? Of the of the most successful people. I, I want you to put these in chat, by the way. 
what are the traits of the most successful people? Please add that in chat. Okay, what are, what are the top traits? Okay, they invest in themselves. They invest in themselves. Okay, they are great at sales. Name me one extremely successful person that's not a rock star salesperson. It's impossible. Don't even try. Can't do it. Okay. Um, yes, good, 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 good. Yep, they're positive. They're a big thinker, right? They, they think big, they dream big, all that, right? I've got my 8% Nation socks on today. I don't have my think, my, my, my CA think big socks, okay? They're positive, they think big. They train daily. They train daily. There's five things that I do every single day, by the way. Okay. Wake up before six, five to five fifty-nine. Before six, by the way. Okay. I work out. I write down my goals. I train like sales training. Right? I'm learning, I'm soaking it in, and then I'm doing a cold shower. That's my daily power five. That's how I kick off my day, by the way. Okay, that's how I kick off my day every single day. Because it makes me the best version of me. Right? It may it, it, it makes me the best version of me. Right? They're driven, they're consistent, they won't quit, work ethic, absolutely freaking lootly. Right? I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna finish that with consistent because I love that. I love that. Right? So, so I'm going to ask you if these are the traits of successful people, by the way, if these are the traits of successful sales people, right? Always looking to improve. I love that. They want to improve, right? They want to improve. Yes, they do. You're exactly right. They want to improve. I want to improve, man. I want to improve. Okay. If these are the traits, I'm going to ask you, what are you doing in relation to being a phenomenal salesperson? Okay. We talked about th these are the traits of the world-class people. This is called world-class sales skills, right? Of the world-class people, these are their traits. Okay, now I'm gonna go through these and I wanna know which one of these traits do you own right now and you have, okay? Are you always looking to improve? Yes or no, okay? This is a self-evaluation right now. This ain't about me, it's about you. Okay, it's about you. I want you to be great. How committed are you to improving? How committed are you to improving? Either you are or you aren't. The world class, they don't think about stuff, man. They commit. They do it. They want to improve. They're there. Okay? How, how likely are you to improve? Right? How, how much do you want to improve? The next one. How likely are you to invest in yourself? Great world class people, successful people, they invest in themselves. They spend money. Okay? I've spent about a quarter million dollars the last 28 months-ish on making me a better version of me. Over a quarter of a million dollars, okay? That's a lot of dough, right? If I stacked it on the table, you think it would take up the whole table, right? If we did, what's that, 25 stacks of 10,000 cash, that would probably fill up the table and, and, and maybe a couple stacks, you know? That's a good amount of money, right? I could have done something else with that money, but I chose to invest it in me, okay? I chose to invest it in me, okay? Also, what else? They are great at sales, man. They are flipping phenomenal salespeople. If you struggle, if you if you just deep down know that you can be better at sales, you need to go to this link right now, okay? So that I can talk to you and try to position something for you or your team to help you be better at sales, okay? You have to be great at sales. For all this to work, you've got to be able, because what does sales do? It brings money through the door. Revenue is how you pay your bills, you put food on your table, you staff up your employees, 
right? And investing, because when, when, when you pay for sales training, it's an investment. It's not an expense. Okay, let me remind you. It's an investment. It's not an expense. Okay? They're great in sales. What else? They're positive. The most positive, the most successful people I know are extremely, extremely positive, man. Extremely, extremely positive. Like bad stuff happens around them or something doesn't go their way or they wake up on the wrong side of bed or whatever. They're positive. They show up happy and positive. Okay. Are you showing up happy and positive or, or are you letting drama in? Are you being negative or are you committed to being world class? Okay, the next one, they think big, man. I'm challenging myself to think even bigger right now. I want to level up. Elaine, I want to level up. I don't want to fail any longer either. It's time to start winning. I'm tired of losing. I want to win. Right? I don't know about you, but I want to win. I want to win. Right? But, but sometimes along the way, you got to think a little bigger. A lot of people are not plugging in and training every day. If you're not moving forward, guess what? You're moving backwards. You're moving backwards. I do not want to see you fail anymore. I do not want to see you move backwards. I want you to lean in. That's how you get better. You train every single day. Right? In my office, we, 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 we do sales training every day. We role play every day. Right. We do an energy activity. We share. We have two trainings a day. Right. We have a chant, some energy, some excitement to start our day. All of that twice a day, twice a day. I'm not sort of committed. We're really freaking committed. Right. They ought to commit us. We're so committed to this thing. Right. We train daily. And the last thing is great people. The top traits, they're consistent. No matter what happens, they show up, whether they feel like it or not, they're consistent, they're reliable, they show up, they want to win, and they're in it to win it, and they're in it for the long term. They're not thinking about, oh, I had to pay $200. Oh, I had to pay $1,000. Oh, I had to put $5,000 on my credit card to be better, right? They don't think about stuff like that. Nobody, I mean, it doesn't matter. Five grand in the, what, what is $5,000, right? In the grand scheme of things, five grand is nothing. I'll, I will spend, just to let you guys in on a little secret, I will spend probably about $5,475 this year at Starbucks, right? And we talked about the quarter million bucks I've spent on making me better the last couple of years. It doesn't matter, right? The money is there to invest into making you better and to leveling up your career and trying to be a better version of you. Okay. That's it. That's it. I need to buy some stock in Starbucks. You're right. You're right. Okay. That's not enough to really make that much of a dent probably, but you know, so, so the question is, which of these are you doing? Which one of these are you winning at? And which one of these are you failing at? That, that, that's the question. That's the question. Okay, that's the question. That's the real question, right? And then also to go over the cell, I'm, I'm gonna go over the CA cell system really quick. I'm gonna tell you all the things that are in it. Okay, I'm gonna tell you all the things that are in it, right? There's 20, there's like 25 chapters in this thing, mindset, questions, words to remember, establishing your brand, goals, basics of phone sales, telesales process, face-to-face -face sales process, breaking down numbers, presenting, building value, fact-finding, weekly system, objections, closing, prospecting, retaining clients, door-knocking, inspiration and motivation, telephone, working the phone, leads, cross-selling, um, understanding the buyer, most common mistakes, top traits, leveraging your time, motivation, being a winner, right? Th th these are all the types of things that are in our new CA sales system, by the way, that you can go to CodyAskins.com forward slash sales system to learn more about. Okay. Also, if you haven't been to our website, CodyAskins.com, total new facelift, total new facelift at CodyAskins.com, brand new website, just 
rolled it out, I believe, like last week. Okay, so here's what I want to mention. I want to help you win. Okay, I want to help you win. I want to help you be the best version of you that you can be. I want you to become a world class salesperson. There's only one way to do it, and that's to train every single day. So when it comes to sales training, whether you are an individual or a team, we have built a new CA sales system that is committed to helping you become a better salesperson every single day, right? And if you're struggling with that, and if you're not dominating and you want to be great at this whole sales thing, then you will absolutely get involved and jump on the new sales system, okay? It's a no-brainer. The value's ridiculous, okay? It comes with a lot of stuff. I will kick it off with your team. I'll jump on like this privately with your team. We'll give you a monthly curriculum. We'll give you a workbook. We'll give you access to over 400 modules. We'll give you access to quizzes. Okay, we, we will give you the recipe for success so that you don't have to question anything. You just jump in and go through the online system. Okay, that's what you do. Okay, so my, my challenge to you, okay, we got a hundred and listen to this by the way, we got about 182 days left in 2020. Okay, about 182 days in tw left in 2020. Okay. So my question to you is, how will you finish this year? Will this be the best year of your life? Will this be the worst year of your life? How will 2021 be? How will 2022 be? If you have a team, how good is your team? Are they great? Are they average? All that stuff I talked about, all those different chapters, all the stuff I talked about, what, what, what are they missing? What are they not delivering on? Are you, what's the main problem your team is having? Are you happy with their results or your results for that matter? And if you're not, I have a solution. Okay. I have a solution, right? So go to CodyAskins.com forward slash sell system. Check this thing out. Okay. Appreciate you being a part of the world class sales skills webinar. I'm going to be doing a few more here and there because I want to keep you motivated. I love doing these events. Okay. Appreciate you being on it. Please share this thing out. Tell someone, we'll upload it to YouTube later probably, okay? Tell someone that needs to hear this message, okay? Share this with other people, okay? Don't be, don't, 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 don't be selfish. Don't be greedy, right? I'm going to keep doing free stuff and continuing to help you be a monster at the art of sales, all right? If you want to talk to me about how we can customize a program, to make you and your team better at sales, then simply go to CodyAskins.com forward slash sales system, and I'll make sure that I jump on to say hello and to help you win. All right, okay, appreciate you being on tonight. Let's have a great rest of 2020. I want you to be world class at this whole sales thing, okay? I want you to be world class at this. Back when I was a brand new agent, I didn't know how I would get there, when I would get there, what to do to get there, but I knew I wanted to win. And hopefully you are sitting there right now thinking, dude, I want to win. I want you to win. Don't forget about the sell system. Okay. Appreciate you guys. Have a happy fourth. Great weekend. Let's start to tear it up. Let's get serious. All right. Let's get serious. Appreciate you. Hey, you love this video and you want some brain food? I got five books that every new insurance agent should read. Go watch that. Grab the books. See you over there. When you read a book, when you go to an event, when you listen to a book, when you go to a mastermind, when you buy a university, when you do these different things, okay, when you have a coach, whatever. If you don't have a coach, gosh, darn it, you need.